Greetings, listeners. I'm your host and GM this evening, Zach Barrett, and welcome to this Twisted Gear Studios production of Spacers, our Starfinder actual playcast. Last we left the crew, upon arriving to the mysterious Kairos system, the meteor was struck by the dying breath of a massive dragon. While damaged, the ship is now changed. The crew gather their resources and proceed into the temple, continuing their hunt on ship. Alright, so you have avoided a very potentially catastrophic crash on this, on this planet, barely. Alright, next steps. What do you do? Load up the weapons. Instantly, Laurel just starts grabbing big guns. Sh- yep. I, I want to try and see how much of... Will this ship be able to take off again? Oh... I mean, at this point, does it really make a difference? We're already here. I know, but we aren't going to stay yeah. here. We need a way to leave. As I uh, come up to the... I leave the engineering to come on up, because I'm the one to ask for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I come up probably just as yeah, yeah, yeah. you're asking about it. I'm like, oh, well, I could probably get it to take off and stuff. I don't think we want to get into a scrap. Like, I mean, I can patch stuff up so they work temporarily but I need to be docked with uh, access to actually repair things properly we to get us down here I just sort of tricked the system into believing that it was working okay if Jovac is here I say we steal his ship I I mean I can get this off the planet it's not that messed up okay but I mean we're not going to handle a fight we're not planning on fighting in a ship mm-hmm. no, we, we want to have sensors no. You can't shoot someone in the face when you're on a ship. I, I look uh, at the warden and I say, uh, "You don't need, you know anything about this place?" Other than the fact that we decided to land on it very fast, no, I don't have a lot of info on this place. I personally have never been here before or seen anything about it. I just know that Jovac's here, and I plan on uh, stabbing him hey, right I'm in gonna, the face. I'm going to go gear up and uh, leave some instructions mm-hmm. for Tim. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah, and I just run out of the room again. <laughs> so we think he's in there? And I point at the temple. Um, is this We like- saw Jovac's ship or something that looked like that in the combat, though. No, we didn't. This might be where he's trying to get to. He mightn't even be here yet. What is this place? I'm not here. Wonderful. Well, it seems like it's just some old, you know, Ooh. ancient planet. Can I roll it's- a culture check? Can I also roll I can, a culture check? Yeah, Everyone can try and roll a culture check. I remember if the lack bad of information may roll. not answer your me very well. Mm. I run down to engineering. I'm not rolling no culture. <laughs> I rolled a 15. 19. 15, 19. 18. I rolled a 9, but Laurel is not thinking very hard anyways, so <laughs> she's not upset by this. Fair enough. What is it that you guys are trying to figure out with your culture checks? What if the where this? What is this temple like for like what where okay. which? I guess with God it worships or God or whatever. Yeah. All right. Looking it's out the, the main display window, you're looking around. None of you know anything about this planet in particular. Um, there doesn't appear to be any markings to any current pantheon or religion that you are actively aware of. None of the Pact World's religions seem to be acknowledged here. Um, there does seem to be like a decapitated, dis- like decrepit sphinx onwards up uh, closer towards the front of the temple itself. And the temple itself seems to be intact. Um, what did you guys roll again? Someone rolled... 15, 15, 19, 18. 18? So all over 15. I would say that with your understandings of religion, it would seem just the way that the suns or the black hole and the sun that it is devouring uh, are in relationship to this temple, you would ha- could hazard a reasonable guess that this temple has something to do with the star system, that it was built in relationship to the stars in this solar system. Hmm. All right, well, I don't see any other landmarks nearby, so it's not like we're going to Really quickly, before moving on, does anybody have uh, either life sciences or physical science? 
it. I have both of them. So does Greg. I'm ch- yeah. I'm Seeing that you well, only you two rolled high enough culture to. Re- uh, I'm not even. I never even made a culture check. Ignore me. Actually, are you looking out the window? I went down to engineering. To never mind. Up. So it won't matter. Yeah. So you guys can both roll either of those two skills. Hmm. Greg rolled a one. Ooh. It's a lot of rock. Yes, it is. Uh, 17. 17? Yeah. For both of them, I have the same. When you're looking at, you're kind of piecing together the concept of this, of what this temple might be. The Sphinx, the headless s- s- stone Sphinx draws your attention. You're not sure why, but there's something about it. I want to get off the ship and go up to the Sphinx. <laughs> that makes sense. While you guys are thinking about that, uh, or working that out, um... <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Really quickly, I'm trying to look at something really quick. <laughs> they said they said I was able to. Yeah. Breathe the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It's just the higher uh, elevation you get, the mm-hmm. can be more toxic. Or if you stay in it it's, for an yeah, extra period of time. It's like breathing in a. So Laurel, you said you were gonna go grab some weapons, right? Yep. From where? From my room. All right. So you start walking through the ship and. The layout's fairly similar, but they're significant. It's the same class category of ship. And they're industrially built. Yeah. But there's a lot of differences. Like what? Um, the mess hall is full of shit. Like good. Yeah. Like like garbage or like no, actual like stuff stuff. Stuff, but it's all destroyed from the crash and the damage. But like there's a hollow screen, there's a table, like what? it's a full on entertainment suite. I stop, I kinda look around very confused. I grab a snack and keep going. There's like a busted open granola bar. Check the expiry date. Okay. <laughs> as, as, I, as I'm don't. going, I get, get on the I get on the calm. <laughs> Guys, there's there's something weird about our ship right now. I'll go back and I'll take a look. Cool. Uh, you see the same thing. It's same make and model, but everything about the interior is completely different. Can I roll to see? Cause something's funky going on. Can I roll and see if like if this ship still looks like a version of this ship I've seen before? I wouldn't even say that you roll for it. Like it's ships, makes and models are factory. So you're in what you can believe to be a similarly constructed ship. But have same brand, same size. Have I ever known this ship to have like this stuff in it? This particular ship? Yeah. Well, I I don't know how to answer that question because it's. If you're talking about the meteor that you've been on, obviously no, this stuff has, is not on the meteor. And I had, I didn't see it before this, right? Like I didn't see the ship before they had taken it. No. Before we were involved. No, yeah, the ship's disappearance happened before you were hired. Okay. okay. Like you're like the meteor's disappearance. Is there anything that we have done to this ship, like like damage in some way, like it's like denting to a panel or? A scrape on the wall, or like something, something to identify that that's I could, uniqueness. That, yeah, I'd probably be the one who would notice something like that. Didn't Greg roll have like a room or something? Anyone that's yes. looking for something specific, roll a perception check. I'm just, I'm just going to engineer. Nine. Nine. You kind of think about it. You look around and same make and model. Yeah. So I'm going to get on the... I'm, I'm going to stay on the comms. Use different dice. I know. I'm just, I'm not mine. Um, I'm going to stay on the comms and just say... Yeah, this... There's no reason this wouldn't be our ship anymore, is it? No, it's the same... Like I'm sure there's like this probably like, like a serial number or something that would be the same as the specific but then how, version of the ship, right? Th- did this all start happening from that dragon? Yeah. How how would a dragon give us a different ship? It's not a different ship. It's the same ship. Like, there, can I check like the serial number of the ship? To check it's the you want to go to engineering to take a look. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Check and see. So soon after you mentioned engineering, they're flinch with Tim, and Tim's cleaning himself off. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Deantha enters. Yeah. yeah. Watch it. I just, Hello. Where's the 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 serial number of the ship? Uh. Like, you point towards where it would be. It's oh, like I it's mean, usually on like the you mean like a transponder fantasy. code. No, just the code that identifies that this ship is this. The identity identifier of the ship. Okay. This is the this specific ship. 
Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I'm assuming there's a plate somewhere on the ship yep. that has to stay. You go and take a look and um, I need you to roll a what would you roll for something like this? Just roll me straight wisdom. Reasoning why is not everybody just memorizes the sin number of a Six. of a device. So you look at it and you go, well, it's a series of numbers. There's Although, numbers there, but I will make the argument that I have been in charge of these specific four ships. That's why I got you to roll it. That's why I got you to roll a check. For most okay. people, wouldn't even get to roll a check. Okay. Like, Six. I know all of my equipment in this room. I could not tell you the exact serial codes of these four mics. Mm-hmm. Couldn't tell you. So it's the same sort of thing. That's why you got you got the chance to roll, but. Um, unless you unless you want to debate that you can roll something else that would be applicable, hmm. you think is more appropriate. Can I ask? Um, well, my profession is that is like, my profession. I have a like. A, well, I guess it's strategist, but this would technically be fall under my. This wouldn't fall under hmm. a strategist profession. But Flinch, what would you want to say there? Um, as Deantha's looking at the serial number and shaking her head, I'm assuming and stuff like that, and just gonna say, well, what are you trying to figure out? The ship. There are things in this ship that are weren't here before, okay. but everything about this ship, there's no, this should still be the same ship, but. You're wondering if it's still a meteor? Yes. Oh, okay. Or if somehow, some way we were swapped into a different ship, or if yeah. this is the same ship, but just a different version of the yeah. same ship or something. Yeah. Can I just uh, check the engines? Engines are just as much of a signature as anything else. I've been working on them for quite a while. Like to Think see, of Scotty, man. You should check the <laughs> core. <laughs> yeah, to see if it's very similar. No, yeah, to see if it's yeah. This, yeah, for the mechanics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, twenty-eight. Uh, dramatically different. Oh, dramatically different. Dramatically different. Um, it's like could be the same make and model but it's there's Ooh. different add-ons there's different expansion modules like there's yeah, there's so it's being impossible to tell very impossible to tell yeah. like is it exactly the same as the one you were working on this morning no no, no so not. this might very well might not be the meteor could be yeah it's that different it's different enough it's different enough yeah. That statement yeah um yeah it may or may not be the meteor but that's not really the pressing point oh i mean it would be concerning if Oh, it's it's very concerning. Uh, I don't think we're going to survive getting out of this anyway. So, whether the ship that landed is the meteor or the meteor two, eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, although, while I looked at the edges, uh, is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah we're going to survive I mean, this. <laughs> damage is hell. But pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, while you guys finish the conversation, Laurel, do you proceed back to where you think your room is? Yep, yeah, but I'm weirded out. Okay, you very, open it up. Very weirded out. Um, this is not your room. Or yeah. at least it is not what you left yes this morning. What's it look like? Uh, there is a very, very unkept cot. Uh, well, actually, so the way that you guys' rooms are is that there's a series of like hammocks mm-hmm. and bunks yeah. that you so you all share a bedroom basically while you're on the heat on the on the meteor. Um, same crew quarter in the sense that there's still a series of beds, um, except there are now two doors, not what? one door. What? Instead of having six beds in one room, there are only three beds per room. Mm. So you look in one room and. It's fairly empty, actually. And you look in the other one. Um, these cots all seem lived in. Uh, there's a lot of different... Uh, one bed is really not kept. And when you look at that bed, um, there's a blanket covering the wall behind it where the others do not have that blanket. It's just the pain wall. Do you look behind the blanket? Yep. You pull the blanket off the wall, and there is a advanced Doshko <gasps> that is just there on the wall. Like, it's a weapons rack. There seems to be a weapon or two that's missing, but the Doshko is still on the wall. Guys, this is someone else's ship. This is someone else's room. This is someone else's ship. I don't know where we are. How did a dragon do this? Cool. Uh, did I'm you find anything? Doshko. I forgot to take my comm off. Did I you say Doshko? <laughs> yeah! I like this ship better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just grab our stuff and go to this temple, and maybe, I don't know, we'll survive long enough to ask questions. I, like, kind of hesitantly reach out to uh, Josh Go. <laughs> like, do, do you take it? Dun, 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 dun. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. You now have a da, 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 a red star doshko. It deals one d ten energy and flaming damage. You can choose to, as what we've been doing with our critical hit deck. With the critical hit deck, you can either on a critical take a card or just choose to deal a severe wound. Sorry, can you say, so 1d10 energy and fire? Fire, okay. yeah. You and can, the on a crit, you can either choose to just give them a severe wound or take a critical hit card. Mm. It is powered and it has a it has 20 charges and it uses two of those per hit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, there is one last thing. Yep. Um, as you turn around in the cot across from yours, there seems to be a box that is unlatched and kind of left open. Uh, there seems to be two spherical objects that are inside. Are they grenades? <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. The excitement was just palpable. Uh, I would, uh, roll me a culture check. Oh my god, they're I'm using different grenades. dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I use different dice. Grenades of culture. Uh, 13. Hmm? Okay. Uh, they are some kind of grenade. You're not sure what, what type would you roll? 13. 13? Yeah. They are definitely a type of grenade. Not like incendiary or frag. They don't look to be weaponized. They seem to have some kind of fusion installed into them. Mm. But they are grenades. I take them, strap them to... I don't know. I have, I'm assuming I have a bag or like a... You got a belt. You can belt? strap, you can strap them to my belt. belt. Okay, so you have two grenades. Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> grenades? You what? don't know what they do. What of my other regular weaponry do I have? Anything that was on your person you still have. I never specified. Uh -oh. If Reasonable. it's on your character sheet, I no. typically tend to yeah. treat it as if it's on your person. Oh, okay, that's good. If it's if it's something that you let's put it this way, if you specifically leave things in your room during combat, it's gone. Well, yeah, no. So if it's on your person, then it's with you. Cool. Because it's not here. Yeah. So if you don't, if yeah, if anything, if you leave anything in your room, it's no longer like if you go back to where you think the room once was. The items are not there. My code. But you're the only one that's gone to take a look. You're okay. what? Is um, anything that's on your person still with you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look around the room. Uh, is there like any any sign of who might have lived here? Like any personal, like like a... You're just going to start rifling through this shit? I'm not just going to, I'm just going like, to gonna sort of give a I quick would. glance around the room. Like this, did, if someone would have, if I was, like if I was going to, to look for, Ooh, if someone put up a wonder. picture... Or, like, a quick glance, or you're yeah. gonna start looking. Like quick glance. Perception check. I'm looking for. I'm just looking for the obvious. Yeah. Mm. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you can kind of get like general gists of of what these kind of people were like. Um, the three beds that are in here do seem relatively used. One is very neatly kept. Two are not. One worse than the other. The worst bed is the one that the Doshko was was above. Well, that's because the bed isn't as important as the Doshko. Duh. Fair enough, okay. <laughs> Those opinions. Um, the grenade case was in front of the second most kept bed of the three. Um, yeah, that's... The... The bed with the Doshko shows off a couple of... Like, there's a couple of trinkety things, but they all seem kind of weird. Like... Mm treasures of of defeated foes so like a spent frag grenade um a, a pauldron uh like just little things that are like oh someone collects bits and doodads for some reason and then on the very well kept bed there is um a few like insignias that are like pinned against the wall like all military logos huh. weird i leave and i head back to the to the bridge Ship, I don't. I don't know whose ship this is. This is weird. What? Why do we have some? Who has our ship? Is there a way? Like, is our computer bust? Like, I can't call people. That your computer is. Fucked, so I can't like call the. It is wrecked. Like it is by definition wrecked. Great. 
Okay. I, I want to get off of this ship. I not only because I still want to punch jo uh, Jovac in the face. Like, I want to do that, but this isn't our ship, and that's weird. I, I want to. I want to go now. Can we go now? Sure. Let's go. Well. I said I was going to leave the ship and look at the Sphinx, so I'm probably near the doors to leave. Yeah, she's so left. as you guys are like, okay, okay, can we leave? Can we leave? Clippy? You look and Clippy's gone. Ah, I, where, where'd Clippy go? Did, hear, did, did, did Clippy hear, with our ship? You guys hear the main door of the hangar bay at the front of the ship going... I, I'm with him, and I, I go to the door. What the rest do you guys do? Paulo. You ready well, for this yeah. part? YOLO, or whatever. Following suit? <laughs> yeah. Flinch. Oh, I might as, might as well follow. I guess the other thing I could do is just stay on a ship and try to repair it, but that ain't no fun. No. Tim's kind of tapping his fingers. Tim's goes, there. Oh, what, yeah. what should I do? Um, I mean, just do your best to patch up some of the systems. Enable it to get fly, sort of shore up the patch I put on the engines, stuff like that. Uh, nothing too serious. Just remember your training. I'm sure you were trained as an engineer, right? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing to worry about. Just take your time and work on what you got to work on. You got this, man. Yeah. 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 Roll a persuasion check. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really... Sorry, it's diplomacy. Yeah. No, you're bad at that, too. Oh, no, actually, because uh, every time I could put a rank into it, even though it's not a class skill, I put a rank in diplomacy. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. But I get no other bonuses to it. I'll try it, see what happens. Yeah, so I, have, I rolled a 19, Ooh, so okay. 25. As you guys are sitting there, yeah, 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 yeah. He grabs goggles, he slaps them on his face, grabs a wrench, smacks it off of a bar. It's, that was kind of aggressive. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> yeah. Over the top. Yeah. High five. <laughs> I'll fix this ship. He turns around and gets to work. Oh. Yeah. Inspiration. And then I go to the ward. I'm assuming he's still there. Yeah, he's he's kind of in the hangar bay with just everybody. Just a skeleton. Oh. And he's sitting there tapping his fingers on a railing, looking very perplexed. So, yeah, this, this seems really strange. Uh, ship's not our ship anymore. You ever hear about anything like this, man? No, that's um, new to me. Oh. Uh, no, he's never mind. He didn't go to yeah. No, it's uh. I can't say I've never ever experienced anything like that before. I even heard anything like it. No, this place creeps me out though. No, did you want to stay on the ship and get ready to fly us out of here when we come out of that temple? Or you want to come with? Mm -hmm. We can call you if we need help. Might be nice to have somebody outside seeing if anyone else is coming in. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I'm assuming you're leaving the little halfling in the engine room. Yeah, yeah. If you can make All sure right. he lives, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll do what I can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll keep an eye on the spry one, and I'll message you if anything yeah. bad yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. We'll send in the dispensable people. <laughs> That's very mean of you. <laughs> yeah. uh, as this conversation happens, now that the door is open, no. you can actually hear the space battle happening overhead. It's like there's this this <laughs> background <laughs> echo to the space, like like thunder and lightning, except it's not thunder and lightning. Although there is some of that from the storm nearby, but you can hear the bellowing clash and booms of massive explosions going on in space. In the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not like you can hear booms, you can hear the shock waves of them. Like this underlying thrumming that's going on. Okay. Then I'll head out as well, but I'm assuming uh, Clipper has a... Uh, distinct lead. Uh, he does, as you guys, as the three of you, four of you begin to leave the ship. Cliptic's already up two of the plateaus, like there's these steps that plateau through in, in, in sections, yeah. and you get to halfway up the overall staircase to the temple, oh. to where this, this fallen sphinx is. Sphinxes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get there first, Cliptic. What is it that you were specifically looking to do? Well, I... I'm very fascinated. There's something about it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I want... 
Can I can I see what it is that I think is fascinating about this? Why would you roll me again? Either either life science or physical science, whichever one you prefer. Doesn't matter. They're both the same. Roll it. Ten. That's enough to notice a couple things. Okay. Um. From a distance, it appeared stone, like the rest of the environment. Mm -hmm. But now that you're here, golems are living, and they're also made of stone. And there is there's something that can be tell, noticed about them. What's interesting is that there are vines that intertwine and move between the rocks of this being, and they're still they're slowly they're in their final stages of death. That this was a creature that had once lived and has very recently been slain, uh, and it appears that the head has been removed from its body. Weirdly enough, with a ten, you can tell that there doesn't seem to have been a severance from the head of the body. What? Obviously, the head has been removed, but there isn't, like, a mark of where it was cleaved off. It seems like there is just a hole where the head should be, and the head is just not there. Like it just disappeared. It has been removed in some capacity. Uh, other than okay. that, the Sphinx is what you would normally consider of a Sphinx. It is a quadrupedal form with two wings. All made of stone, with vines that are slowly undulating in death. Uh, with a with a with sorry, one last thing with a major concentration of vines up around the neck piece where a head should be. Head should be. Um, I wonder if I can do that with. Uh... I had a spell a long time ago. I still have it. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to remember what I have. Mm -hmm. Mind link. Am I able to do that? Because it was a li uh, living thing. Um, you go to commence a mind link and what's weird is that traditionally a without life and b without a head those yeah. are two very important features there needs to be a mind and an active one for this to work mm -hmm. you sense that there is like conscious conscious life like it's diminishing it's dead you're not able to mind link with it that's the first thing right out of the game but normally you can feel an automatic like Rejection. It's like, no, there's nothing here. It's like trying to mine like a rock. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, there is still consciousness, not enough that you can commune with. Like, it's it's dying. But that means that you could have mine linked without the head. What? But it is deceased. But it was once alive. Uh, moving down to the guys that are moving up the stairs, the rest of you, um, there do appear to be some form of life. There's some birds that are flying around. That's about it. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. Trying to get up to the entrance. Where the flippers? The deek. Yeah. Um, so after your your continuing investigation of this being, the rest of your team join you, Cliptic. Mm -hmm. What uh, what are you doing? I think this was alive once. Oh, was here. I I kind of poke the sphinx with the non-fiery well, end of the dashko. It's dead now. Some of the tendrils move in reactions if they're trying to defend themselves, but they're too weak to maintain the follow-through and they flop to the, to the ground. Huh. All right. But the thing is, is it doesn't look like it was, like, the head doesn't look like it was cut off. Like, it like was, it's still, like, almost, that still, could think. Was it, I don't was it, understand. It was ripped off? Or it was, it was It's like exploded it just, off? It just, Vanished. All right. Now that you're all discussing this, all of you roll culture checks. I'm looking for a very high DC. Nope. Can, can I roll a medicine to see why? Sure, but that might my heart. Uh, sure, but that might garner you very different results. Yeah, it's fine. Some bad at culture anyway. Yeah, try it out. Give me 24 in medicine. 24 in medicine. All right. So what did everyone get on their culture checks? 11. 11. 11. What? What? That's oddly coincidental and I yeah. don't like it. Greg? 13. <laughs> yeah, the one one man out. Um, with the 24 of a medicine check? All right, so what are you trying to figure out with a medicine check? Um, like, how it was killed. 
Um, oh, okay. So looking through it, um, yeah, decapitation was not the form of yeah. death. There is a massive, when you start looking under and lifting up some of its its limbs from its collapsed state, um, there are markings of a war doshko that have been left on this. It was slain, mm-hmm. um, and it seems like the this doshko impact was the killing blow. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so uh, killed by Doshko. So he's here. Yeah. Let's go. I start walking. Yeah, man, might yeah. as well. We've, we've came this far, I mean. As you guys turn to head up towards the temple, you begin to hear noises coming from the temple, like some kind of a of an activation, stones shifting, and this boom. It, not that there are lights that are turning on inside the temple, but you can see motion, movement, and some activity in the temple up ahead. Mm. Double time? <laughs> or should we try and be stealthy? Hey, man. I'm really good at stealth. <laughs> you don't want to have FOMO. Let's get in there. I think we should... Okay. Hey, we can be stealthy. I mean, that's what we I can. About. I don't know about the rest I'm of I'm pretty stealthy. I'm okay at stealth. Uh, okay. This you is... can go in Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you can go in floral. <laughs> yeah. Can I be your backpack? Sure. Every one of us can be stealthy. Good Lord. I mean, I have, I have other things on my back. So the people who can't be that, stealthy that, that's, that's go it. first, and the people who can be stealthy sneak in after and try to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Good Lord. Or You're right. so, <laughs> Who's so going mean. first? I'm a former pirate. <laughs> All right, are you going in as a group, or are you, going in, are you sitting in a recon? Going in as a group. Okay. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Okay. Then Flinch disappears because he's not going to go in in a big gaggle. He just won't do it. So, so I can, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that I just do a bit of recon. All right, all right. I'd like Ooh. to take Greg with me. I was rolling a stealth. I rolled a natural twenty. Ooh. Flinch roll stealth. <laughs> and Don't I roll also, one. I have Greg plus nineteen. Oh, I rolled anyway. a natural twenty. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. So at the no, no, exa- hang on. Watch yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. You guys sit there and you're like, we're gonna go on a gaggle. No, maybe we should send in a, a team. Greg, Flinch, you turn. They're already gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's nowhere to hide. It's a wide staircase that goes up and down, and they're not down or up. They're just gone. Oh my <laughs> god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my wow. god. I cannot believe that happened. And we were never seen alive again. <laughs> no. Greg and Flinch. I'm gonna keep my calm open. Yep. I'm gonna. We're gonna stay Keep with here. you guys for a little bit here. Um, you get to the to the front of the temple. Um, the doors there seems to have been twenty foot high stone doors, blown open. Um, you continue. Uh, yes. Yeah, slightly inside. Be yeah. never weary. Keep on going in. I'm assuming whoever charged in, if there was any traps, they would have set them off. Yeah. Now, keeping in mind that just because two natural 20s, I am taking that into account for as if you guys are consistently being stealthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you and every time you proceed to a new room, I'll ask if you want to continue. And depending on the environment. So for yeah, for um, the other three players at the table, just I'm going to stick with these guys for a little bit to carry this on through. Since you guys are waiting outside anyway. Yeah, All right. <laughs> First chamber. It's massive cathedral hall. There looks like there was once stone seats. Most of them have been destroyed. Above you, there is is shattered ceilings. Think the Sistine Chapel, but just destroyed. Um, many of the pillars that still structurally hold up this chamber still exist. Um, but the scale and size of this looks to be like a main worship hall. It's only the foyer. As it continues on towards the main... Uh, facility itself, or the main the main temple itself. There seems to be a few of these entryways. When you reach the top of the stairs, this was one of several. You can see a couple of other hundreds of feet away on either side. There are multiple ways into this facility. Uh, or into this temple. This massive hall at the end does lead to a door that uh, when you look on past the broken windows out towards the rest of the, the temple, there is, it does begin to approach a cylindrical mm. structure at the center of it. And it seems that any of the activity that you can see in here is coming from the cylindrical structure at the center of the temple. Uh, there are a few chambers between you and that, though. Do you wish to proceed past the main hall? Oh, so since my comm's open, I'm just going to very quietly. Foyer's clear, move in. We'll check out the next room. 
so that way they're always one chamber mm-hmm. behind. Okay. Perfect. We do so. Yeah. All right. In that case, that that actually, that I, I like that because then I can go back and forth between the two groups. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you guys will continue, and I'll describe what you guys see in the yeah. chamber and momentarily they, here. Yeah. And then you three, two. you've entered the main chamber hall. What would you like to do while you're here, if anything? Uh, it's, there's like, it's like it's like really overgrown and stuff here. Like yes, old. yeah, quite old, there's quite only, old. There's only the one door, the one door in, and then the one door out at the other end of it. Looks to me, yes. Okay. I'm just going to stand near the door at the other end and stand at the ready. Okay. I would like to see if like, anybody besides, well, I guess I wouldn't know anyways because they have rolled crazy stuff, but anybody had been through here recently. Uh, roll a perception check. Sweet. Oh, was it that one? That one. Uh, you're looking, you see there's some insects floating around, running around but on the floor, but it's, that kind of distracts you as there's a lot of legs. Cliptic, you doing anything? Can I detect if there's any, like, magic? Yes. What's the skill in this game for that? Mysticism? Yeah, mysticism. Roll me mysticism check, please. Uh, what's it get? 14. Okay. You... Close your eyes and you concentrate on your deity that allows you to tap into your magical powers. Mm -hmm. Um, And you are blinded with, if you're trying to detect magic, you're blinded with the concept. There is magic or magical essence or influence everywhere. Okay. You cannot pinpoint its source, but there's something weird about this place on a mysticism level. Like, yes, there is magic in this environment okay. and it's not because someone brought it there is this magic. planet is magical there is magic. like the whole planet is ma- well I can't I guess what that is it's either the planet or this location but you were your your senses were numbed by how intense it is here okay. with a 14 that's all I can give you yeah, yeah that's fair that's completely fair just think about how excited you would be to be in the library of Alexandria Huh? That's probably it. Yeah. An idea of how that would be a comparison. This yeah. place would be. That's fair enough. All right, with that, we can flinch. Let's proceed to the next chamber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ever cautious. This next stuff. chamber, speaking of a library, is rather interesting. There is um, so think of one of those old styled libraries where there's an upper floor and a gantry, and then there's the lower floor below and all the alleyways of books on both floors. It's very much in that shape. It's this very long hall. It is uh, two stories tall. However, there isn't just a railing that drops down to the lower chamber. There seems to be a very, you know, you know how old when old glass gets mossy? There is this glass-like uh, partition that you can walk all the way around it on this upper gantry. But the lower floor seems to be encased in some kind of translucent wall. Could be glass, you know, unless you wish to take a look further look into it. But it is over moss, and you can kind of see through it. And there's a well, if you choose to see through it, that that will give you details on that later. But yeah, and then looking on either side, you can travel further on down on either side. Um, instead of having those alleyways like there is in a library, there are um, stone like altars, and each one seems to have or is, is actually not overgrown or moss. The tops of them aren't. But there are spherical basins as if you could put some kind of a sphere in them. Hmm. Uh, and at the front center of this chamber um, is another one that there was once a sphere in but seems to no longer have one. And was there a doorway at the end? Or did we... It looks like so. It looks like it, it squares around. So as soon as you just lean towards one side or the other to look around this glass partition... Hmm you see that they do curve back. You don't see another door, but I would say that it's within logical assumption that there could be a door on the exact opposite side of where this door is, similar to the Great Hall, but you can't see unless you move forward. Yeah, we will have... Well, I can... uh, And this would be at the end, so I can whisper back. Yeah. You proceed through this chamber towards the end? Um, I'd like to take a, try looking through the moss that's over sure. this. Sure, yeah, we'll try to take a look through the moss. We have a couple of seconds. Okay. Um, it's difficult to look through, but you look on through, and there are um, bodies inside the chamber. Um, not 
of a gory nature, like similar to the Sphinx outside, but not the same the same as the Sphinx. It's kind of stone mechs, if you will, that seem to be in various states of disarray that are down within the chamber. Some of them are still smoking. This is a recent happening, whatever happened inside that chamber. As you progress on the outside of the chamber upstairs, there is a similar sight with stone decrepit mechs. However, they are not smoking. This seems to have happened to them longer than very recently ago. But they are overgrown, so recent, but not as recent as what was so ever inside that chamber. The ones up here yeah. were destroyed before the ones down there. You can say So the way. path of destruction went up there, then down there. If that's what you want to take from that, sure. Well, at this point, uh, I'm just going to look at Greg and be like, we might as well just get everyone together. I'm not too good at the culture mysticism stuff. Um, and if there isn't a clear path for us to continue through, I don't want to risk, you know, killing ourselves and then our friends getting killed, wandering into the same stuff we wander into. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm just going to call in, just in case I'm missing mm-hmm. something, because I don't know how to get down into that chamber. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be an entryway that you noticed. Do you proceed to the other end of the of this chamber? I will. I'm not sure if Greg will. Greg, do you want to proceed after him? I know. Or you... We'll stay yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Um, you approach the end of this chamber. Um, throughout your entire path, the description is the same. Uh, it does not appear that there is some entryway into the chamber below. Even looking into the chamber below, it seems sealed. Okay. Um through the the hazy moss areas that you can look through. On the other end, sure enough, on the exact opposite side of the chamber lengthwise, there is a door and it is open. I want you to roll a perception check if you could, please. Uh, Both of you can actually, since you're both both inspecting. Mm. 10. I got a 17 on the dice, plus 8 for 12, so 29. All right. Flinch! Door's open. You look into the chamber, looking around. Uh, now that you are at this door, the sounds of whatever is happening in that spherical chamber are very loud. And when you look into the next chamber, this doesn't seem to be that chamber. However, the next chamber you kind of look into, it's not, it's not a whole lot going on. It looks like it's this um, antechamber of sorts where it kind of tapers down to a, to a point at mm-hmm. the bottom, almost like it's a lecture hall. And there are other entrances to this room, but on the exact opposite side of this room, as if you were to go straight forward, you can see motion and movement of whatever is in that central chamber happening. It's just on the other side. Grek, Mm -hmm. you see the same thing, but you notice one significant difference. This door that you are currently looking through has opened sideways, kind of like like an elevator door. Mm -hmm. And you can see on both, you can see the door that's kind of seated into the wall on the right, and the Mm -hmm. door that's seated into the wall on the left. Mm -hmm. Um, There is a dome like a spherical, there was a spherical um, insert on the door mm-hmm. that was split down the middle. Mm-hmm. And on the part of the, on the right, mm-hmm. you can still see that the sphere is embedded in that part of the door. Mm-hmm. And it's, it. you could safely assume that it was what unlocked this door. Okay. All right. It looks like it could be the same size of sphere that would have fit in each of those altars prior as well. All right. Well, it can stay there for the moment. Oh, um, I don't want to close this door and draw attention. Well, since there is a way out at this point, uh, might as well call in the B team. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, I'm one for a while. just joking. Find the B plus team. <laughs> oh my god. A minus, come on. Fine, fine. I'm the C team. Um, just, uh, yeah, so uh, next room is some kind of funky library. Uh, you head on in and uh, yeah, check it out. We're going to continue on. <laughs> Check it out. But all I want to do <laughs> in the uh, oh in the antechamber, the one that leads down, so it's a higher point. Um, and you said there's a door at the other end. Can yeah. I get to that higher point, duck down, and try to look through my scope through the door at the other end? We'll get to that in a second. Sure. Do these three, and then yeah, we'll come to that. Done. All right. So you three, you proceed forward. The exact same description applies. Do you wish to do anything in this space Sorry. with that? So like we're on the we're on. You said there's two floors. We're on the top floor right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking down into the. Floor. Correct. Okay. Yeah. 
cool. And they kind of just looked in through the, the mossy glass. This is a library, glass. right? Can I take a look at like it's this? it's not so much a library. It's just if I were to describe it as succinctly uh, as possible, it looks like that, so where it's got like that stars. long, that long narrow hall with mm -hmm. partitions along the sides. But those partitions lead just to these altars with spherical divots at the top. Mm. There doesn't seem to be any information. Uh -huh. However. Um, since you guys are taking a second pass, um, instead of books on those wall, uh, wall altars, there are holes where that are in the shape of the creatures that are deceased on the floor. Holes? Uh, sorry. Oh, they fit into the wall like Correct. guardians. Yes. Oh, like, like golems. Correct. Oh. But there's these altars with these with this sur spherical impression in it. Mm. So this was like I'm thinking I, I'm I think I think that these altars with the holes in it, whatever that that divot is, was in place of a key that possibly woke up these go these golems. Are there any um, of the of those spherical divots? Are there are, are there any that have a ball like a sphere in them? Roll a perception check. Fifteen. I mean, you don't need a perception check to see if there's a ball or not, but you can get other information from them. Um, no, uh, looking, the only sphere you can find is what is within the wall of the door that is separated when it opened. Um, but what you can tell as you're looking at all the altars is that they're freshly used. Like, there's oh. fresh scrapes. There's no moss. That's These have been touched recently. Hmm. So I'm, I'm, I bet these golems were protecting something. Were they protecting the spheres and those divots? Or something else? Something further in? Mm -hmm. It seems like this was something, something here is being protected, but somebody has beat us to it. Is there any sort of pattern to the direction that the golems are facing? Does it look like, 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 can I trace a trail of destruction, or? Hmm, that one. Do you have a professional investigator? No. no. Uh, roll a survival check. That would, I would call a survival on that one. That makes sense to me. Ooh. Natural 20. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Damn. They're Coach turning up when dice. we need them. Yeah. All right. I did switch um, dice. It's looking at the scrape marks. Uh, are you taking into account the central chamber as well, or just out here? Central chamber as well, because 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 you specifically mentioned earlier that the the age of when the bodies when the stone things looked like they were killed was different between the two. So I'm kind of looking to see um, does it look like uh, a a does it look like the bodies that are that are, are facing in the same direction, that like someone came through when they all went intact mm -hmm. and person went on through. Does it look like the ones in the center Yeah, we can't ask for more information after you've rolled Sorry. really good. Yep, no. Yeah, I'm gonna answer I'm gonna answer the first question because yep. that's what you asked when you rolled. That is what I asked when I rolled. So looking at the looking at them all there, uh, it looks like just age and the damage and things like that, they were killed in sections. Oh. There are twelve altars on either side. And that it appears that each swarm of, uh, of guardians, for lack of a better term, were killed in each section and then was moved on to the next. And it seems that similar from your, your limited view of what's down in the antechamber, you can assume that that seems to be the same sort of way. You notice they that there are someone there was... are you notice that there are even lines that separate each pile of destruction. So there is a line that they never crossed before they fell. Hmm. So someone was systematic about it. I'll even say, um, with a natural 20, that you do find blood. Ooh. What color is Vesk, Vesk blood? You would know that it is Vesk blood. Okay. There is a Vesk came Pretty. through here and was wounded. Uh. What color is your blood? I would have to look that up. I'm going to say it's green. Vesk, sure. Vesk, Vesk blood is purple. That yeah. is Perfect. actually the appropriate Laurel response. I have no idea. I've never seen my own blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like an appropriate yeah. Laurel Nobody. reaction. I don't, I don't have time to bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Yeah. 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 Sorry. So yeah, Vesk was wounded in here. He, he killed these guys on purpose. Oh. Like he wasn't trying. Uh, they weren't thinking. Yeah. 
He wasn't. They, yeah, if, if they were, if they woke up to stop him, he finished the job. Yeah. But it begs to question who woke them up in the beginning. If it's a key that does it, maybe not. I'm wondering maybe if because there's this, there's a there's a sphere in the one opening the door, right? Correct. So they've probably had to take that one from one of these guys, and that's what woke them up. No, I think or he there's wanted, somebody else at this temple. Or he wanted to make sure no one would follow him. I'm going to proceed to the next chamber. Well, before you move on to the next chamber, in that next chamber, that, uh, that Coliseum-like auditorium, you wanted to look through a sniper into the next room? Yeah, I wanted to because we had, you said it was the... Yeah. You said it was the Perception auditorium. check. There's going to be a couple of obstructions in your way, so depending on should have a bonus point. with the sniper scope, though, right? You get a bonus with the sniper scope, but uh, you get a minus five because of all of the obstructions that are between you and it. There's something spinning in there, so yeah, you get a plus... Take plus two, so take a minus three. I'll net it. Uh, minus three? Yeah. All this Five. So 19. 19? All right. You start looking through. Um, there are spherical, like circular, sorry, not spherical, circular bars that are rotating, and that's what's obstructing your view. And as they rotate, more of this energy is kind of emitting from whatever they're spinning around. And you can kind of see that there is a large figure that is moving on the other side of whatever is spinning in there. Someone is in that room, and they are at something on the opposite side. Ooh. Time to get up here. (laughs) Okay. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, time to get up here. And we might as well wait for him, because I don't want to go down to no... Okay. Right? Well, I mean, they're not that far behind, but still. The and gang I, is back together, yeah. yeah. I don't really have the feeling of FOMO anymore. <laughs> Large yeah. figure, spinning room with cylinders down there. Spinning room? Points across, right across. Like, you could, you can go down into the center of this chamber, then back up again, and on the opposite side, there's a room with something spinning. I give, I, I look at Flinch and nod. Yeah, it's a yeah. large figure in there. Does it have a ceiling? Since you're here, it must be Joe. Does this chamber have a ceiling? <laughs> yeah, <does laughs> yes, it does. It does awesome. have a ceiling? Uh, and w- so what's interesting about the ceiling in this chamber, now that you ask about it, there is a ceiling. It is not destroyed. There are, there are two openings at the top of it. The black hole perfectly fits into one. Huh? And the dying star is slightly off center from the other one. Okay. In clo- leaning closer towards the one with the black hole. So it's aligning. Mm, misaligned. Being that, yeah, it's misaligned. misaligned. They're not lined up. The star is being eaten by the black hole right now. Right, right, right. So right. it is closer to the black hole. Doesn't seem likely that it will be shifting outwards anytime soon to realign with its ceremonial altar. Right. But we don't know who's, well, we think we know who's on the other side of the thing. Yes, we're guessing. You can make a safe guess. That's all I'll sell it, tell you. Um. <laughs> I. Uh, Sorry, we yep. I propose um to be a little bit more tactful. I think I can get above him on the other side. But you'd have to enter into the spinning room. Right? Unless I have spider climb. You can just climb through the hole on top and go through. I can climb on any surface. Yeah. How long does that last for? Uh, I think it's 10 minutes. No, you already cast it a little while ago. You have to cast it again. Yes, I know. Okay. No, cool. no. Cool. I am fully aware that I'm going right. to do that thing. Uh, so, yeah. I have the second level. You can target yourself, obviously. Spells you to move target up to d- up and down as you wish. Oh, no, wait. That's flight. No, I'm wrong. Sorry. Sorry to climb. I have flight, too. Well, if you can fly. Ah, uh, yeah, I could I, fly actually, couldn't I? <laughs> um, it only allows me to move up and down though. Oh, yeah, levitate. Yeah, so not really, yeah, doesn't levitate. really work. So, uh, target gains this climb speed of twenty feet and plus eight racial bonus to athletics checks to climb grant, uh, granted by climb speed. I believe so we have to get to the door first anyway, right? Yeah. Let's, let's get to the That'd door, see what we're dealing with. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. And then, All right. Get, you know what I mean? And then, if it yeah. works out better for you, because we got, we have to go to the door anyway. Okay. Fair enough. And yeah. then, once you see it, if Spotter Climb will work in this situation, mm-hmm. by all means. All right. <laughs> I shall right. do that then. Yep. So you move on up to the chamber that uh, to the door that attaches to the central chamber of this uh, this temple, 
as you get on up there, I would like all of you to roll a um, be no. <laughs> uh, either culture or physical science. Either whichever is more applicable to you. Better physical science. They're same for me. Oh, so what everybody got? Thirteen. Yeah. And what? Doesn't matter. Eleven. What? Doesn't matter if it was on culture or physical science. No, either okay. either answer will sure. mark the same thing in this seven. instance. Seven. Seven, so 13, 11, 7. 22. 22. 18. 18. I got a plus 7 physical size. Nice. Holy cow. All right. Um, so 11, 13, 17, 22, and 8. All right. If you rolled 17, so basically just Greg and Flinch get this one. Yeah. So, our um, was- so I'll start with what everybody yeah. notices, and then I'll start with the specifics mm-hmm. of what you two figure out by looking at this. As you start looking in, the center of this chamber, this this spherical room, is like, and it is massive. Um, in the center of this chamber is a equally massive to fit the scale of this chamber orrery, a massive scale replica of a solar system, and the rings are all connected to spheres that have flat tops on them, and it's rotating around two spherical structures in the center. Greg and Flinch, you're looking going, oh, that's a that's a scale mock-up of this solar system. The black uh, hole. Correct. Uh, the, one of the spheres in the center seems to have been cracked and there is active black energy swirling within it. And the other one has yellow energy that's being pulled out of it and pulled into the black one in the center of the orrery, almost mimicking the stars above. Looking up, the ceiling is intact in this space, but it seems to be completely translucent, and it's almost like you can see out in space, not from the perspective of the sphere, though. You can see the space, if you kind of poke your head into the chamber, you can see the space battle immediately behind you. It's almost as if the, the outer surface of this dome is the perspective of the atmosphere of the planet itself. Oh. I've got, do we see the large figure that I might have seen through the scope? Or do you go further in the room? This, 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 this oh, is, this is just looking in. Yeah, this is just peeking into the room. That's what you see. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. beyond that, it's whether you wish to go further. Start moving into the room. Yeah. Yeah. I you can't shoot myself. someone in the face when you're on the other side of the room. Yeah, and that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> so those spheres and stuff, um, we didn't find any back there, but... Are they in here as well? Like those altars? No. No, the sphere. Yeah. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. So it's just literally. The only spheres in here are the half spheres that represent the planets of the solar system. Okay. Is there one representing this planet? Uh, yeah. I'd say from from noticing that there is that much detail of the orrery from where you're at. Yeah, you can see that there is a fourth one away from this from the center. You can assume that if this is the fourth planet of the solar system, that mm-hmm. that. Um, greenish, uh, huge one. Now, one of the interesting things about them is that they're not just stone. They're physical structures, but there's like a swirling energy yeah, inside okay. each and every one of them. And this one seems to have a color match to what the outer shell of this planet looked like when you were in space. So you can safely assume that we're represented by that fourth one. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I guess if we're going to enter in. Yeah, we'll let the. the we'll let the big ones the go, big first. Ones <laughs> go first. Yeah. Yeah. The doors to this room begin to close <gasps> while you guys are standing in the door threshold. Move, move into, the do- into the room. So Laura moves into the room? Yeah. yeah. There's a sphere, though, that's in one of the casings right outside of the door. You said no. that the- No, there wasn't. No, no, that was no. in the previous. Okay. The broken off. Never mind. Nope. Going through the door. Never mind. Are all of you go through the door? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The door closes. This chamber is now completely sealed as the, the orrery spins faster and faster and then it slows and comes to a halt you can now now that the, the orrery has stopped there's this echo to the chamber and you watch as everything from the view from the view window of the spherical dome is kind of frozen in place and if you look across the orrery you see that Jovac is in fact at a temple or at, a, at an altar his back is to you all his weapon is down to the side what do you do Shoot him in the back. No. Is he wearing his dead black hole? No, he's not. How far away is he from us? Uh, about six. Uh, so the room is huge. Eh, say about 100 feet. 
Dang it. So yeah, I'm gonna have He's to run really up. Far away. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving closer, but I'm going to give the orrery a bit of a berth. Okay. I'm not gonna go like through it. I'm gonna go around like hugging the wall. So the orrery isn't moving right it's now, not, no. correct? And the orbs are still there. They seem to be what's powering it somewhat, correct? What the orbs? The, or- the only orbs in this space are the giant planet representations. Yeah. And, there's just, okay. and there's just something that indicates its color that's swirling inside, like yeah. a gas or whatever. So, okay. so as you guys are thinking about this, Laurel takes a step forward, and as she starts stepping, cool. Like the echo of your footsteps are very audible. And then you kind of hear Jovac. It didn't take you long to follow me. And he turns around from the altar and he has what seems to be the exact same Ori, but a smaller representation of it in his hands. Um, However, in the center of the Ori uh, in front of him, uh, you notice that the Salarian armor is gone. But there is a, the black orb that is inside the orrery seems to match the, you see that he's actually holding like, so how Salarians work is that they actually can manifest their Salarian powers into an orb that follows them. And it will form the armor or weapon that they have, cons- like that they have formed with that orb. That orb he's holding in one hand with the orrery in the other, and he's slowly inserting the orb into the orrery miniature. I'm gonna swing my gun around and shoot him. Perfect. All right. Cool. Are we we just jumping into this? Uh, I guess so. Damn, I'm so far away. You guys are kind of like sitting there, and all of a sudden, just she turns and she just fires. What's the range here again? Sixty feet. Right. Why well, didn't shoot first? But he's he's he's, he's seen us now. All right. Uh, roll initiative, just so I could take notes. This will make sense in a second. All right, anybody roll a natural 20? 25 or higher? 20 or higher. Laurel? 21. <laughs> nice. 15 to 20? What'd you get? 16. 17. Oh, it's got to be one step ahead. <laughs> Fif- uh, 10 to 15? What did you get? 13. 10. Okay, so you guys, so this this is your initiative order, and I'm going to keep this in my, what did you get, Laurel, sorry? 21. All right, so because you moved first, you get to, you take that shot off, and it kind of goes wide, and he looks up at you uh, without any weapons in his hands, uh, as the shot kind of just scrapes off one of the, the stone altars near him, and it begins to spin the orrery. And as he rotates it, he then puts it down behind him and he grabs the Doshko next to him. There is no way you can stop what has already begun. He slings it over his shoulder. And now that he has begun, now that the Ori is spinning, the large one begins to spin in identical motion to the small one. And you watch as the imagery around you, the stars begin to kind of also motion in a similar way and things begin to change on the view screens around you. Is it spinning the same direction it was before, or the opposite direction? Opposite direction. Thank you for listening to this Twisted Gear Studios production. The next episode of Spacers will air Tuesday, March 3rd. Until then, Tuesday, February 25th is the next episode of The Call, our Call of Cthulhu actual playcast GM'd by Derek Snow. The game system used today was the Starfinder game system by Paizo. Music, sound effects, and ambient tracks in this episode licensed through Video Copilot, Triune Films, and Sirenscape. You can find all of Twisted Gears' podcasts on YouTube, Google Play, Apple Music, and Spotify. Please like and follow the Twisted Gear Studios Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Twisted Gear. Your players this evening were Janessa Coles, Lindsay Delansky, Elizabeth Wells, Derek Snow, and Bailey Yarkey. Your audio operator tonight was Rob Picky, and I was your host and GM, Zach Barrett. If you happen to be in the Fort Murray area, you can find me at Tavern on Main every Monday at 7.30pm for trivia. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.